Hey, uh, my name is Matt. I am not a tech reviewer, just a tech enthusiast. And I want to chat about this, the uh, Peak Design mobile tripod. Um, I had a few questions when I was buying this and I couldn't find the answers online. Um, so I thought I'd make a video uh, to hopefully help anyone else who's looking to pick one of these up. So I want to use it with this, the uh, Samsung S22 Ultra. Um, this works with MagSafe or uh, Peak Design cases. This doesn't have MagSafe, so it requires a Peak Design case or this Pataka uh, MagSafe case. So if you had a, another MagSafe case, it, uh, it works with that too. So um, the questions I had when I was uh, looking to, to buy this is how well would it work with a non-Peak Design case? And, um, and do either of these cases affect the S Pen and the reverse wireless charging? On the site for this, it explicitly says that um, it does not work with the S Pen or reverse wireless charging. I don't think this one makes either claims either way. Um, so first of all, uh, well, got a bit of a toy here, so let's have a look. What do the, mag looks, the magnets look like? So here we've got MagSafe circle and this, which I help, think helps with uh, alignment and, and stopping it twisting. Uh, this here, we've got four outer magnets, roughly the same size as the other circle and the same kind of alignment piece. Uh, I think when Peak Design were initially making these, uh, it, it predated MagSafe and when MagSafe came along, they updated their stuff. So it would kind of work with both which is, oh, it's upside down, but it's what we see here, right? You've got the four outer ones and also this kind of horseshoe of the, the MagSafe one. So, you know, you'd think this would work with both of these cases and it does. So this is how it's officially meant to be used on, um, you know, the same branded case. And it's really on there. Um, you know, this isn't, isn't gonna come off. Um, but it does not have the uh, kind of lump on here, which I think maybe in an earlier version of this did have uh, to keep it from twisting, but it seems to do a pretty good job there of staying on. So I'll look at the Potashi case. That also ooh, really sticks. So um, I'd say that the Peak Design one was a little stronger, but this one, also not going anywhere and uh, also not twisting. So I'd be more than happy to, to have the phone on either, but we can try it, try it in the case in a second. Um, it's got a kind of rubberized back as well, which really helps with the, the twisting. It does leave kind of some marks. I don't know if you can see, but I'm okay with that. It's uh, up to you whether you are though. Um, and yeah, when you're pushing it in and out of your pocket, it really stays stuck on, that's that's absolutely fine. Um, yes, but the thing that I want to know is how do these work with the S Pen and uh, reverse wireless charging? So if we pop it in this case. Okay. I'll open up a note a second. A new note. Okay, so okay, you can see. So if I start um, drawing here, you can see right where the magnets are. It stops drawing. So it's okay here, and then around here stops working which is annoying. Uh, also, if you put the pen inside, it doesn't realize you, you've uh, docked it. It kind of just thinks it's still out, which means you'll get the notification if you walk around with, uh, with it like this to say that you've lost your pen. Um, yeah, so not great. So we see how the, uh, well actually let's do reverse wireless, char wireless charging while we're here. So if I turn that on, uh, reverse wireless charging. Give me a second. 
Oh, here we go. It's right at the end. So uh, I've got my watch here. Actually quite nice to line up in the back there. As you can see, that's charging fine. So actually that seems okay. And we've got some headphones here. Also fine. I guess you can't see the orange light, but there you go. So that's good. Um, let's take this off and try the other case. Okay. Right. So, oh wait, seeing as we're wireless charging, let's, uh, let's try the same things. It's more difficult to align because they haven't got the dip. There you go, that charge is fine. This one, also charging fine. You can just see, that, see the orange light there. So, great. Um, pen wise, give me a second and I'll launch this note. Okay, can I clear this off? Oh, give me a second, I'll start a new one instead. Okay, here's a fresh one. As you can see, it works great here in this case. Um, one thing to note though, however, actually, is, go back here, if I pop this on the back, I guess because of the four strong corner magnets, like in the other case, we get the same issue, but it's easy enough to just pop this off. Um, cool. So this case is a lot more sleeker than the other case. Ah, did you hear that as I took that off that I realized I docked the pen? Um, yeah, so this case here, um, it really doesn't give you much of a, uh, a lip if you're gonna put it face down. Um, but it does look very nice. Um, initially I thought I wouldn't like the, the P shape or it doesn't actually go around each of the lenses, but I quite like it. It does get a little marked by that thing on the back, but that's fine with me. It doesn't uh, offer much protection on the corners. It's, it's more about grip really. But if you slide it from the bottom, there is no uh, case in the way there. So that's quite nice. And you can get to the actual real buttons. There's no covers. Um, so all in all, I, uh, I actually like this, although I'm not sure how much protection it really provides. Uh, the other case, if I pop that back on quickly. A lot bulkier. Um, definitely feels like it's going to offer a lot more protection. And uh, it actually offers quite a bit of uh, I don't know, raising off the desk here. So if you lie it flat, it's less likely to scratch around. Um, one weird thing is, I don't know if you can make it out, but it's got a real chin on the bottom. It seems to be way deeper than it needs to be. Uh, you can see there, it's, it's quite thick. Um, I think partially that's because um, you can add one of these uh, Peak Design kind of anchors around this point here. And, uh, and then use something like one of the Peak Design wrist straps, the quick quick attach wrist straps, so that you don't drop it while you're taking photos. So that is nice. But um, it is interesting that they left a, a gap here. So I know that you can hook that round, right? It doesn't need to be this big square, unless they were trying to like make it match this speaker grill, or they thought there were gonna be two speaker grills on it. The, oh, sorry, it's not focusing, but there we go. Um, yeah, but the only other thing there is actually is the um, eject tray, which wouldn't come out in this case anyway, so it seems a little pointless. Um, yeah, the other benefit of this case is if you if you go all in, all in on the Peak Design stuff, um, it's got this kind of locking mechanism, hard lock, where um, not only does it get the mag safe, but it really locks in for, uh, you know, if you're going to attach it to a bike or, or in your car or something. 
Um, but is that worth losing the S Pen or having to take it out to use the S Pen for you? That's, uh, that's your call. Uh, yeah, so I hope this uh, helped someone. It is a, a really nice little stand, very over-engineered. I won't get into it because there's other videos um, explaining that. But uh, yeah, I hope this helped and uh, have a nice day. Bye.